I've said it a thousand times before, but this is it. I'm done now. That's it. No more from the village. Look at this mess behind me. Well, I've said it a thousand times before, but this is it. I'm done now. That's it. No more from the village. We'll start here. Yeah, another tree gone. Then we'll come over here. Where once stood the log cabin, now burnt to the ground. And they've even moved the bench here to sit in front of the fire. You can see they put a pallet there, had a fire in the middle of it, it's just all burnt down. There's the mesh roof on the floor there. This tree here is what's been cut off from there, and also that stump I've just shown you. We've got the pallet wood cabin. Well, what's left of it? You know, these horrible sewer rats must have got in there, laid on the floor, they must have been booting those walls in from in there. And this is the state in here. There's a bench gone, there's the small sleeper bench gone. Presumably burnt because I can't see it anywhere. And all this rubbish. So I'm stood where the entrance of the lock cabin was. Come straight in here. This is actual proper vandalism on a great scale. I, I got sent a video from a, a guy called Mr Mickey on Instagram and TikTok. He sent me this yesterday. Have a quick look. So yeah, as you can see, it's changed a bit since then as well. They sent me this video yesterday. I don't know when he were down with it, but yesterday, Friday or Saturday, but it's changed since then, because this bench, we're over here. Someone's had a fire here again, because the canister was over there. It's just, we're dealing with actual sewer rats. These people have ruined it for everybody now. I've had enough, I can't continue to do this. I've been babysitting them for a few years now. They come down, they destroy my property, and I left to tidy it up, but that's it, we're done. I had to take a day off work today because like I said I got that video yesterday and I, I just can't leave it like this so I've come down. You can see what they've done, they've also taken the pallet that we had left from the store there, they put it inside and they started a fire and it's just gone boof. First things first, I'm going to have a brew and I'm going to sort this shit out. So today is going to be the last time, if not the very last time for a long time, I sit here having a brew. I can't continue to do it. I can't continue babysitting these shitty people. I mean, that is just... Well, you can't put it into words, man. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to have my brew. I'm going to tidy this one out. Oh, look, found someone's keys. You're not getting them back, you little bastard. So there's a large shelter, all tidied and raked out. I've just started over here, starting around the fire. I just collected all that glass up that was smashed there. I had to cut a bottle open and done that. This is all the bottles that I've collected from around. In fact, funnily enough, this Taylor's bottle here, that's been up here for probably about nine months. And I found it about 50 yards that way. So, you know, someone's got a problem with that. Get rid of that, we'll just lob it. So I'm going to tidy around fire, get all that crap moved from there. and melted the bloody wok that we had in there. Look at that.
just the fireplace there as a lonely reminder of what once stood there. Someone's got a real problem with this lock store. The second time in two weeks, I'm going to have to put it back together. I'm all putting it back together because I'm going to start taking this down. I can put all the wood in there. I'm going to use this red tape, red tape, red tent on the floor. I'm going to put that over the roof, give it a bit more waterproof. I don't know why I'm doing it because but I can't leave it here and I can't just take everything out because I can't lift everything. But I'm going to have to tidy up somewhere. I'm going to have to leave that shelter as it is. I can't get the roof off, it's just too well on. I don't have my ladders, I can't get up there. So I'm just going to have to leave it in the lap of the gods. I found this piece of wood here. As soon as I saw it when I tidied it up, I knew it went there. Unreal in it. That's all rubbish. I've got a ton of nail nails here. Loads of glass. Loads of pottery. Loads of bits of burnt metal and aerosol cans. Crockery and all that business. Glass. So yeah, I'm going to leave that up. I've had a tidy round here. I've rolled all that chicken wire up, folded it up, ready to take out. I've put all crap, all tarps and tents which weren't mining these. Put them there, covered it up with green tarps so it can't be seen. Well, that's it. Let's have a look around and then we'll get signed off. where once stood the log cabin. Just the fireplace left. We're gonna leave it there because people do like coming down. And you know, people that respect it, they can have a little fire pit there. Not wrong with that, it's quite cool. It's outside, it's nice. But the log cabin. Shot number one, the large shelter. The rebuild of the first. I'm gonna leave this, I'll leave it up. It's all in logs. If it gets kicked down, we can just throw them to the side. But it's all tidy. I've even left a bloody bag for them as well. The part with cabin. An awesome build. But I love doing it. But again, people that don't deserve oxygen in the lungs have come out and done this. Remember, we used to have a window here. It didn't even last a week. The window was older than me. It got smashed a bit. And this is what we're left with. So, that's it. That's it for now, at least, anyway. I'll have to stay away till after summer, see what's going on, just leave it and come back down. At the moment that's still stable and so is the Hollywood cabin as well. It's you know it's still it's not gonna fall down so but we do owe it to ourselves and also this place to come down and have a last night I think so at some point we'll come down and have one final night. But that's it. I'm a bit gutted really to be honest. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it and see what happens. I'm taking everyone's crap out of me again like I always have done. Thanks for watching all these years, it's been fantastic. It's been such a ride and I've learnt so much as well. Massive shout out to Paul for helping me all these years as well. It's been brilliant. It's such a good time down here, so many memories made. But these shitty people just, well they've ruined it for everybody. So, I'll leave you with the last view of the camp. And I'll see you again some other time. See you later.